effects on them. Or you think about uh, the lizards that, that live on my back patio. If they're on the patio furniture, which is brown, they turn brown. But if they're out in the grass, they turn green. They are taking on the image of their environment. And so that's why Paul is telling his audience that, hey, you've got to be careful with these evil associations. You've got to be careful with the environment that you place yourself in because it can impact which resurrection you partake in. And so that is why Paul is inserting this into the midst of his message. These are valuable. Our name and our reputation are valuable assets developed through years of effort and discipline. We have to exercise caution as we guard them diligently. Now, we oftentimes uh, don't think about it, but uh, every day of our life we are building a name and a reputation for ourselves. You can be uh, someone that is known as faithful. Brother, Brother Luz is a faithful man. On Sunday, you're going to find him in church. On Wednesday, you're going to find him in church. When it's the work week, you're going to find him at work. When it's time to go home, you're going to find him at home. And so he's known and built a, a reputation and a good name as being someone that is faithful. But we all, every one of us, knows that unfaithful individual who uh, may not show up at home. You don't know if they're going to be at work. Uh, they're never at church. And so they have this reputation of being uh, unfaithful. And so the Bible says this about a good name. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor rather than silver and gold. A good name is better than precious ointment. So the writer here is elevating a good name better than all the riches in the world. 